my name is Simon, so uh, today I'm going to uh, to demonstrate our Catalyst projects. So um, so this uh, project is championed by uh, China Telecoms. So uh, actually, uh, for this year, we did the phase two uh, in our projects. So I'm going to give you more details about how we uh, uh, to validate 5G uh, to service, the business service over the 5G networks. Um, so we did the phase one in last year, Kuala Lumpur. So we are looking for the intelligence operations in the uh, 5G. So in phase two this year, we are uh, to looking for the opportunities on the uh, 5G services because we believe that um, the uh, B2B service will be really to drive the carriers to deploy uh, 5G networks and to be commercialized in the future. Um, so here is the, uh, we summarize those uh, services in the future. So, because uh, we, we think that it's really hard to rely on consumer business and the home broadband business to, to really make us to deploy fully uh, 5G in China. So that's why we, uh, we, uh, we highlight some uh, B2B services to really make our growth in the future and bring the new revenues. So we picked the high def uh, video uh, broadcastings uh, in this February. So we uh, co, co work with the CCTV, which is the largest content provider in China. Uh, so we are using the high def camera, like 4K, 8K camera, record the video, the live uh, TV programs, and transport by uh, 5G uh, wireless network and send back to the Beijing uh, TV studios. Uh, so uh, we think which, uh, the, 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 the video broadcast will be the first step for us to, uh, to start the B2B services. Um, and we have some, uh, we uh, found some requirements in the network and there's some uh, uh, KPI uh, network parameters in the for our uh, network. So we have some uh, latency uh, less than thirty milliseconds. But actually, if we transport the eight K, it must be less than ten milliseconds. Yeah, in our trial. Uh, and in this project, we highlight three stage to deploy this uh, projects. So the site planning, activation, and assurance. And also, we see uh, some opportunities. We can uh, use the video transport by 5G on the sport game and some entertainment. Let's like, like some uh, ceremony and a parade. Uh, we can provide these services. In, but of course, uh, in this stage, we are still in the, in the trial in our 5G network. Uh, so here is our architecture of this proof of concepts. So uh, we did the three, uh, you see the blue boxes in our, uh, in our components. So site plannings, orchestrations, and the intelligence operations. So I'm going to give you uh, more details in the next. So um, currently we have the 4G uh, uh, network. So uh, we have to looking for uh, because we believe, we believe that there's a coexist with the 4G and 5G in the future. So we have to see what is the valuable area we have to deploy the 5G base station in the small cells, right? So we uh, collect the data from the 4G and we evaluate that and identify uh, the, to do the analysis and we simulate, do the simulation. So to evaluate, uh, we choose to what kind of the uh, solution, we have to reuse the site, we upgrade the 4G site, and or, or we, either we, we build a new site in, 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 the, in the, for example, in the, in the business districts. So here we are uh, to find out uh, where should we put the new site and the small cells in, in, in the specific area in the outdoor and indoor scenarios. Um, and the service orchestrations, our network is hybrid, is uh, the physical plus uh, virtualizations. 
So the service provisioning is end-to-end uh, -end, uh, orchestrated by service, uh, by the service orchestrations here. And uh, we have the intelligence operation platforms, which to collect the KPI data alarms and send back to the AI to learn those uh, for the co alarm correlations. So the uh, alarm is coming in the 5G network. So using the AI to train them and to uh, automatically to do the root cause analysis. So we use these three use cases apply in our uh, uh, video broadcasting use cases. And uh, we validate our network in four layers, in the BSS, OSS, network management, and the infrastructure. And the other cases, so uh, we are using the video broadcast not only for the entertainment TV program, we're also working with the uh, Chinese government. So, we, uh, so they use the camera, uh, drone and the motorbike carry the cameras to record the, the video and send back uh, by 5G network to the back end systems and they can uh, real time to uh, do their like face recognition, uh, face recognition, and license plate recognitions. Yeah. And the smart wallet controls. The government also used the drone uh, to carry the camera to record the video for the flex like river on the dams to 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 send back the the data in the service platforms, and the service platform do the analysis to check the, the quality of the waters. So uh, we use that uh, video case to apply in different scenarios, to so see opportunities uh, uh, yeah, to be ready for the 5G network. Yeah. So that's it, so any questions? Because we are more focusing on the B2B services over the 5G. Automation and intelligence. Automation and intelligence. 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 Okay, thank yeah. you.